So hello guys and thank you for joining me today. Tomorrow is Halloween. Whee! So what better way to celebrate Halloween than to watch me ramble on about a scary game. <laughs> Which is not scary at all, if I'm being absolutely honest with you. Anyway, so here we have Paranormal State Poison Spring which is quite a mouthful, I've got to admit. And this is a casual hidden object game. If you've never heard of the term before, then that's probably a good thing, actually, <laughs> because they are casual. They're not proper games, apparently. That's a bit unfair, but yeah, they're essentially a subset of puzzle games in general, which include action puzzles, uh, physics-based games, tile matching, traditional puzzle games, and, dare I say it, traditional point-and-click adventure games. Yes, that's true, folks, because you have to scour the scenery for the objects, so they are related. But anyway, this game is designed by a company called Taeon, and it's apparently based on a hit television series going by the same name, believe it or not. <laughs> and which I've never seen in my life, though some of you may be fans. So you start off as a rookie who's part of this crack paranormal investigation team. Um, at the very beginning you have access to their profiles and oh boy, these guys, they, they know what they're doing. These are the type of guys you want to be working with. <laughs> Believe me, that is until you actually play the game and you realise how absolutely useless they are. But we'll move on to that later on. So you start off as a rookie with this team and you're sent to a little backwater village to help the residents figure out what's been causing all of this paranormal activity and what's been scaring the local residents. And as I said before, it's up to you to try and figure out what's going on because it's a joke really when it comes to what you have to do. You're running around doing all of these errands for the, the most ridiculous of things, left, right and centre, and all they seem to be doing, the rest of your teammates, that is, is just standing around doing absolutely what us Brits would call sod all. Absolutely nothing. Indeed, I, there were times when I was thinking to myself, if that's what it means to be part of a team, then you can forget it. So, being a hidden object game, the gameplay is fairly straightforward in that you have to find the objects as described at the bottom of the screen. Now, I do have to admit, I don't like hidden object games because they are usually quite shallow when it comes to gameplay. I will say that Paranormal State's Prison, Poison Spring, sorry, Goodness me. Shall we just call it PSPS? Paranormal State Poison Spring, just to make it easier. <laughs> anyway, so PSPS is markedly different gameplay wise because the objects um, are multi tiered. So, what I mean by that is that you have to sometimes move certain objects in order to gain access to the objects behind them. Or, in another example, you have to use a pair of scissors to cut away a button in order to reveal a stamp. Now, why you would need a stamp during a paranormal investigation, I have no idea. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> so during the game, you're introduced to things like the American Civil War, which to Brits like myself, who tend to know absolutely nothing about the subject, is very, very interesting, I do have to say. And aside from the gameplay mechanics and the storyline, there is quite a bit of content on offer here. With the Collector's Edition version, you get access to artwork, and as mentioned before, character profiles, a trailer, as well as an extra adventure game in itself at the very end once you've completed the game. And this kind of like acts as a follow-up story to the um, to the main game, which is again a very very nice touch. So, if you really don't want to get into a horror game that takes a lot of your time, then I would seriously suggest PSPS because it is quite fun. It's not very scary, granted, but it is a fun game while it lasts, and it does, for the price at least, it does offer. Um, quite a bit of entertainment value for your money. And so that's it from me. This is Tatsu Mainframe signing off. Until next time, folks, thank you once again and happy Halloween. I'll see you later. Goodbye. No!